Good afternoon. Welcome to our second retitled Tampa Bay Talks. We like to change the name of it all the time to make sure you're listening or watching. I don't know. I like to DuPontcast. If you want to write in and say that you like DuPontcast, I'd really appreciate that for my side of the argument. But anyway, I'm Molly DuPont. I am the sales manager here at DuPont Registry Tampa Bay, and I'm also the community relations director. And I'm happy to be joined today by our fashion editor, Michelle Capelli. Um, you may think that we're sitting close to each other, but we're already part of each other's cohort. That's a buzzword for COVID-19, but um, we've spent time together and we wear masks, so we feel good about being together today. Absolutely. We may have a little bit of background noise. This is one of the final days of us being at 3051 Tech Drive, what my dad loves to call the international headquarters. I don't know what's international about it here in Clearwater, but I think it's St. Pete. That makes it <laughs> that makes it another city, right? Over um, anyway, we are moving after all these years. So you're getting to see a very concise little area of just Michelle and I and everything else in thousands and thousands of square feet of office space is on the floor pretty much. So we're um, still happy to be here and <laughs> don't know where we're going to be next week, but it's going to be fun. Stay tuned. <laughs> So Michelle and I have been talking all during quarantine, COVID, Zooming, working from home, sitting far apart, whatever, about how to look good slash feel better on Zoom calls. So Absolutely. tell us everything you know, because I think people are going to keep Zooming, and you should. <laughs> yeah, Zoom is great, and it's a savior, so for sure. Well, I think number one for Zoom is lighting, because it's photography-driven. Mm. So lighting is like the best thing you can do for yourself on a Zoom. So you definitely want to have really great light. I always say if you have a window available, which we're great, we're, we have a window right across the room, um, have the, as much light as possible. It makes such a difference. Um, if you have a window behind you, you're just going to be a shadow. So that's always, you know, probably the most helpful thing. Um, also the level of the camera. So usually when people zoom, you're either using your phone or your computer. So your phone, you don't want to hold it down here like we do when we're reading texts. Nobody <laughs> looks good from down there. No. We see every chin that we may may not even know about. Right. And um, and maybe then some. So definitely don't hold it there. And if it's your your computer and if you're able to if it's a laptop or something you could move a little bit I always grab a little stack of books and put underneath it and have the camera which is located at the top of the screen have it like eye length or even or eye height or a little bit higher and it gives you a really complementary angle to come yeah at. so I have mine in my home office like set up on this big yeah bin that has all my thread in it from some art projects and um, Sharon Castellano who's our salesperson for Sarasota and a little more southern parts of Tampa Bay um, one morning, she's like, wow, Molly, you almost look like you have a pregnancy <laughs> glow. And I'm like, excuse me, that would definitely not be that. I don't know what it is. She's like, you look so good, though. And I'm thinking, how bad did I look last week? <laughs> um, but yes, the elevation is key. It and really is. now you can sort of tell who's gotten you know, tuned into that Some by tips. how they look. Yeah, yeah. they're like, hmm. You move know. that. Go ahead and move that up. And you can go to Zoom and turn the meeting setting on, just not even be in anybody's meeting link, and see what you look like first, and then exit it and go to your meeting. So at least you have kind of like a, you don't show up and go, oh my, like I've made a mistake. <laughs> I love when you push stop video and it has your headshot. If right. You figure out how to, but if you're not hosting the meeting, sometimes it's hard to get the photo to come up. To come up. So I like to do that to people though, where I'm like looking perfect today because yes. you don't want to see what I really look like. Right. What am I doing? <laughs> what else? Lighting, elevation. So, and then you want to, like, what you're wearing is going to make a big difference. But there's so many natures of Zoom right now. I mean, there's, you know, there's personal things, there's family things, there's business things that aren't necessarily going to be formal because it's just all of us catching up and getting on the same thing. But if you're talking to clients or if you're on a job interview or if you're talking to your boss and you want to really like make sure that you present yourself the way you would want to in an office, I always say make sure that you have something on because really, you know, you're only focused from here to here. So you only have a tiny bit of space to communicate professionalism. And so I always say anything with a structured shoulder is an easy one. Like you don't have to wear that, but it's the easiest way to sort of communicate a little bit more of a professional look. So grab a jacket or a sweater or a dress shirt that anything that has a shoulder that has a little bit of structure will look good. But in, in the personal ones, you know, anything really goes. You just have to know that whatever's here is going to be accentuated on camera because that's all you're seeing. So We've had some funny ones with my sisters and my cousins um, <laughs> that I'm like, 
we're either really confident that we don't need to look good for this or we need some serious help. But, you know, there's definitely angles that work better for people than others. And definitely. Um, I have Jessica Ravelli. I'm going to give a shout out to Working Women Tampa Bay. She did such an awesome job um, having all these Zoom events. And there were things that you could learn. There were, And also it really helped me learn Zoom. Like if someone was teaching they had control of it so I learned how to be the host right. and those other things that this is what cracks my kids up that I don't know <laughs> this like it's supposed to be second nature but um all these different things that were taught you know you could go uh, networking things there were ideas for how to make your social media better there were things about how to bring your team together through video conferencing whatever you would choose and so many people it was like awesome to see how comfortable everyone got after yes. a while like they still looked professional or like people who have their headset on I'm like why is she wearing that that's so interesting what else is she doing I need to get what does she know that, that I don't but know yeah and um I think there's been so many hilarious things too of people in the oh. background I mean even all the news anchors right oh have gosh. shared what's happened with I usually just bring my go ahead and bring my kids in I'm like if you're gonna stand there and talk to me while I'm trying to do right. this just come on in with <laughs> me but um it. What about makeup for those of us who like to wear makeup or tend to, like what's the easiest thing you can do? I think the first thing would be look like yourself. So like you don't have to look, don't make yourself up to look like something that you typically wouldn't. Um, but definitely stay hydrated, you know, because it's gonna show on the camera, you're gonna just look tired. Um, a little bit of either foundation or powder or something, just so that you don't look like you're shining all over the place. You know, you wanna have a little bit of color, but um, be consistent with how you normally look, I think, because otherwise you're just gonna look like somebody else. Right, so. some people you're like, oh wow, that really is impressive. You yeah, did a good job. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> what about, um, have you tried magnetic eyelashes? I have, you know, I have not, but I've heard really great things. Okay, so I tried them, and um, our good friend Lois Miller sells them, and she is, like, the best person. She's like, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And so I did it, and I went to my friend's house for dinner. It was like a porch party, a COVID porch party. And everyone's like, gosh, you're so tan. Gosh, I – is that right? dress new? And I'm like, you guys, I have, like – magnets on my eyes right now you got like look you got it. so the I think the whole point is being able to put them on and not touch them sort yes. of like a mask yeah put it on definitely. leave it on um but I think that really helps too definitely like, lashes like it just adds that little bit of lift to the eye for yeah sure. and and it kind of is harder for people to know that that's you that's know if, what if they're is. right they don't know that that's what it is yeah because you don't yeah so we have Michelle as our fashion editor because I can do lots of jobs um, for DuPont Registry Tampa Bay and keep the publisher in line. But I only really like makeup and jewelry, not hair and clothes, because those aren't things I'm very good at. <laughs> but what would you say for if we're going out and leaving our house, what are the trends for the summer that you think everyone can easily do that sort of universally fits or what's like big or what should we put away what's a yeah. don't right now um I'm not sure if there's a real don't but definitely the trends for summer I mean we've all kind of become a little bit more casual because we get to be more comfortable more often so I think definitely staying comfortable but long you know maxi skirts are always going to be in and you can either dress them up and put a heel or you can dress it down and have a t-shirt or a tank and uh you know a little um sneaker with it so those are definitely in um you know, just keeping lightweight, you know, fun colors. Um, joggers are very popular. So I got a pair of joggers and I'm like, um, they're leopard, they're cabbie. Yes. And they're so cute. And they have a Super very cute. nice waistband too. Like it can, it forgives some sins right there for me. I like that. But I'm like, if I put these on, I'm probably wearing them wherever I go the and then day. to bed. That I, it's, I think it's a 24-hour wear, like a teenage boy. Yeah. I'm just going to wear these for as long as I can. And you can, and you can totally do that. And you can just put some, like, cute earrings, like the ones you have on, and whatever top. And it's like, it looks like it's totally accessorized and ready to go. And then when you get home, you know. I think the teenage boys had something on us. You know, <laughs> ours wear those old navy joggers. Yes. I think. They're, they're not dress code at some schools, but it is like I have on khaki pants instead of sweats and I look sort of more like a dignified gentleman. Right? Um, but I'm happy now that these, especially the leopard, they're so cute. They are so cute. They're so they cute. are, for sure. And another thing I just thought of to remember when you're Zooming is the background. So we, we're here, we have you know, this background. Right, but I, I have really hard been, on that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> she was up all night painting. Yes. 
<laughs> but um, I've seen I've seen things in the background where I think I don't think they'd like you know want everybody to know about their dirty laundry or you know there's all kinds of things that you don't think of when you're zooming from home. So you want to look I find around. it very interesting how many people do it from a location that's not attractive. Exactly. Because you can go outside. Like, didn't Rosemary look so nice on our call this morning? Because right. she had some greenery behind her. Um, but you can, yeah, yeah, it's something to work on. Mine is like I have this really awesome home office that I never use because I'm always here, right? But during this time, I've been there. And I have one of those wrapping stations. I don't know if oh, you can really right. see it in my background. Maybe Friday. But I have that, like Martha Stewart wall, as if I'm at home, like tying things and making them pretty with right. these rolls of ribbon that someone helped me put there. But And I also have in the background a favorite family joke, which is this portrait of my mom and my sisters oh. and I. And I love it because I remember us having it painted and how special it was and my dad apparently thinks it looks like aliens so he apologized <laughs> to my husband once like sorry I heard you got the alien painting at oh, your house no. but it's in the background because I love it and it makes me feel good so. I love that but if like laying in your bed with a towel next to you because you just like got out of the shower and threw something on it's, it's not professional if you're just talking to your friends go ahead but, right exactly and yeah. I've seen that not it wasn't a job related thing but it was a group related thing and I was like wow <laughs> <laughs> I know. And then we're also like, you do you, if that yep. makes you comfortable. Absolutely. All right. But if you want to know how to look professional right. or Note happy or healthy, maybe you clean up your area. Um, okay. I just saw this really neat thing the other day. I meant to ask you about it before, but I put you on the spot on the air. So this was for um, boys. This woman has three little boys that uh -huh. are so cute. And she does their closets and pallets where they only have, like, so they can't. Okay. So it's easier for them to put their, you know, their yeah, clothes Yeah. And together. so they, like, can't mess, mess you know. Mess, mess it, it up. up like everything is mix and match so I think for adults we do that more for like packing for a trip yes. right yes so we do like a capsule so that you know okay gray is going to be my base I'm going to add some black and pink to it or whatever definitely but what a great idea for your kids I was like wait I could there's still hope for my boys I could make them match because yes. blue and blue is, means a blueberry if you remember have remember animals yes <laughs> I know it w that was the best and under roost was pretty good too. yes I mean, oh my gosh that's awesome we need it's that already for decided for you I know <laughs> dad has that down with the blue and green you know blue shirt green pants I love it yeah but I thought that was I was like maybe if I'm going on a trip if I go anywhere I could Pick One a day colors. we will. Yes. Is there a color of the season or is that not really a thing? You know, this year's color was blue. Um, however, there's so many colors right now that are that are super popular. Um, you know, but blue seems to be still very popular. Pink. We did have an awesome assortment this morning at our house at a little meeting that was outside and socially distanced with individual snacks. Um, <laughs> I did a really good job. But so many people were wearing navy and they all looked so good together. And I was like, oh, I was wearing this like neutral color because I didn't know what to wear today. And everyone looked like sort of uniform. But they looked so nice, though. I think people were really excited to be able to go somewhere. Oh, and my get gosh. Dressed for do something. you find that you talk to people like if you do? I mean, when I go to Publix, I'm, I'm like, hi, how are you? Yeah. I haven't been here in a week. And it's been. And, do you have kids? Like, tell me yeah, about yourself. Yeah, do you have anything to tell me that's different than what I... <laughs> I went on a little road trip last week, and my husband was like, why? And I said, because it's not here. Just right. saying. Like, it's just a different place. See but new people. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I was thinking we could do a whole thing on packing your suitcase, but maybe not right now. Um, right. So anything else we can share... I think, you know, the tabletop. Now you did a good job telling everyone. It's yeah, like you want to really focus because it's yeah. very accentuated. Do your necklaces like Michelle. <laughs> um, and <laughs> this has probably friend. been one of our more informative informative uh, videos for Danny, our camera crew, because he really needs to know more about I know he's taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> He's always behind the camera, so he doesn't have to worry so much. But I do want to let you all know in our issue that came out, um, the last two issues, Michelle's page has been in there, and you can look forward to seeing her next page in the A to Z list. We'll be highlighting a lot of um, fashion trends and beauty style kinds of things that are made by members of our um, African-American community mm -hmm. who have really reached out and Michelle's worked super hard on bringing that together so and excited. yeah it's so and just we're we learning such so many local you know talent you know I mean you you know it's there but really looking into it I was so excited yes yeah, so the Tampa Bay area is pulling through for us we have lots of new ideas coming mm -hmm. in our A to Z issue which you'll see you know 
early August. It's summer. We're moving offices. It's hot. We're gonna. <laughs> we're not on a strict, strict deadline. No. Um, <laughs> hopefully, this will be our first issue where maybe the everything's more on time due to COVID, or maybe it won't be. But you can see Michelle's page in every issue of our magazine, and also you can follow her on Facebook. And what's it say for you on Instagram? Instagram is at Michelle Capelli Gordon. It's real short. <laughs> We couldn't shorten our names. We just had to I go know. for it. If you have three names, you just have to use <laughs> them. Keep I keep adding them. Yeah. I love how my children would use all three of their names since I right? do all three. They're like, wait, how do we make it match you? At the yeah. end. Um, so, again, thank you, everyone in Tampa Bay who's watching us. Don't forget to write in that you like DuPont Cast better than Tampa Bay Talks. Just kidding. Eric and Dad, <laughs> love it. Um, and we really look forward to showing you probably our new space. We might even get into some home design we can get the publisher to let us decorate a couple things. So make it a great day, everybody.